Somebody, some girl, love me one day. Hey, I don't even know the lyrics of the song, but I don't know. That song has been said by head for a very long time now. But anyway, guys, someone's son has already loved me and is still loving me. Anyway, hello, guys, and welcome back again to my channel. It is your favorite baby girl, Mama Dinah. I know some people are already like, <laughs> they kind of slap what to give you through the screen there. <laughs> Before you even throw this slap, I will ask you September now, your bitch. In September, you see, it, don't, don't ally yourself with this September because this, this month, <laughs> month extraordinary. <laughs> see, eh, the way things are just revealing itself in its true nature. I don't want to be caught up. <laughs> we're just missing the, <laughs> we're trying to miss the arrows like this, you get me? Anyway, guys, my camera is back. Like, I, I was this close to buying a whole new camera altogether. My lens, you guys know, for the longest time. If you're really attentive, if you really pay close attention to most of my vlogs, you'd notice that some parts like up here and somewhere there used to be very, very blurry. For no just reason it made it so hard if you realize like i haven't made you know really really nice cooking videos in a very long time because if i want to focus on something very closely it is very impossible so i decided that i was going to get a new camera all together my husband was like why do you want to get a new camera when you can repair the lens i was like can somebody repair this thing if you can find anybody that can repair this problem inside this potato then no wahala he gave it a shot and in one week <laughs> it was repaired my last video guys like i wasn't even satisfied with the quality i expected a whole lot better i know some of you are like oh we don't really mind the phone but um, we need to be upgrading like i said not doing the bare minimum you get me but anyway guys um i've been busy life's been busy sincerely a lot of things have been happening off cam that i will by next month you guys are going to get the full gist pardon me if you're on my patreon and you haven't gotten the video that i promised it's going to be released immediately after this vlog i'm not going to post anything on this my youtube channel if i don't post on my patreon mark it from me and i know that most of you see this video is it should be titled gibberish like i don't know it's almost like FAQ videos. I wanted to answer most of you guys frequently asked questions. I would say because most of you keep repeating the same questions on my videos. Questions that if you're a regular dynamite, most of you already know about this. And yeah, I understand that as we hit 100K, most people joined this beautiful family. So yes, I owe you guys some answers. But then, um, yeah, I will be answering some questions in this video, giving you guys updates, just ranting, talking, gisting, whatsoever. That's why I was like, you know what? This is our, this is our chilling spot where we talk and just, people know now, this background is just, it just gives off that <laughs> chill and vibes vibe okay anyway guys let's just dive right into it the first faq um question that i will be answering faq question is that not is that not tato? <laughs> tautology um the first question that most of you frequently ask is do you have a help i think i've talked about this i've mentioned this i've emphasized I've talked about this enough, but most people keep coming to my DMs. Oh, I like the way you do this and you don't have help. I have help. I do have help. There was a period that I didn't. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that period. <laughs> but I currently have a help that my mom, you know, sent me and she's been she's just been amazing she's been everything amazing like i'm just praying that she stays i'm just praying that she doesn't change um she's decent girl nice girl and like i've always mentioned i leave the domestic work for my help anything about my kids i'm the one who is in charge i'm also in charge of the cooking i know things i'm not really really comfortable with someone else doing for me I like doing it myself things i have to do with my husband my kids major things that are done in the home i do i just need help with maybe sweeping mopping washing the dishes oh please stay with somebody for a while let me do this let me do that so yeah that's the 
basic that she does for me but every other thing i'm totally in charge and i'm not complaining do you plan on moving out of your current place because i realized that you've been in this apartment since before some jachi let me just tell you people the truth i actually met my husband in this house <laughs> so this house is actually my husband's bachelor's house before i came in um sincerely before we wedded my husband actually asked that we move i was like why do you feel the need to move we don't even know what our wedding is going to look like like i was kind of content i didn't hate the place i didn't love the place i was just like indifferent i was like let's not let's let's not complicate things we're just starting our life let's just let's just stay here for a while and just see how things go um after our wedding we used part of the money we got from the wedding to refurbish the place to make it look more you know family like like we converted a lot of things from bachelor to at least you can come and cook with a gas cooker we were using cam gas before you know just single life things they weren't there weren't dining tables these curtains weren't there it was just strictly bachelor life we just added a few things here and there we painted and it felt like a home to me um even after that my husband has asked can we move and i'm like no at this point even now that somebody has started school like it is even difficult for me like i don't know i'm just so content with where i am everything is close to me there's a market close to me a major market close to me there is some Jachi school which is less than five minutes drive there is the major locations like i can literally go to any part of portacourt from my place without any hassle you get me so it's like if i move i'm going to be i have good neighbors like i don't even want to emphasize on how important it is to have good neighbors we have neighbors that some of them even feel like family so i don't know when i think of moving i'm like can i carry everyone everything like i don't know everything seems to be good and i'm content and i know most of you do bother about the structures in the house or whatsoever sincerely so long i still have you know toddlers and babies i really don't mind i don't even want to move and then i will sweat and put something and then back around it has broken back around it has felt like i let them scatter at this stage that we are living here so even if we end up moving which is not even in i don't know i can't really say but i don't let me just say for now let me not say what i don't know for now in the next year i don't know i don't i don't see myself moving that's just it no long explanations just because of all the reasons that i mentioned why do you speak Igbo to your kids it's kind of local and um, why do you act like a village girl <laughs> why don't you speak Igbo to your kids or why don't you speak your local language to your kids like you're the one who is local not me you're the one who is more i don't know i don't know i don't know if you're gonna insult me or if you're gonna say things that don't really make like why shouldn't i speak Igbo to my kids and my kids not Igbo like why shouldn't i why should i be speaking a borrowed language to my kids yes as much as it's important to speak english inside nigeria is equally important to speak your local language at least when you take your child to your village or even if you don't go to the village one day your child will grow up and would want to belong would want to belong somewhere or would have that sense of belonging oh i my mom the worst thing is saying my mom or my dad says that i'm from benin <laughs> but you can't speak the language it is i don't know i think it's kind of embarrassing for some people especially if they actually go there or if they have friends family i don't know parents that choose not to teach their kids Igbo, if you don't see any problem with it then it's cool but seeing someone that is making the effort to teach their kids Igbo. And you're saying oh that person is local or the person seems villagey or whatsoever english you want to target i feel like you have a low self-esteem issue because you're willing to speak 
a borrowed language, your co a colonial language, but then where you're from, where you identify with, you're ashamed to speak the language, you're ashamed to even associate with the people, you're ashamed to do anything, anything related that... <laughs> You're the village one. You are the local one, believe me, with a rotten self-esteem. So don't you ever come, if you're ever going to insult me, insult me for everything else, but don't insult the fact that I speak Igbo in my vlogs or I teach my kids Igbo. If it vex you, no watch my channel. If it vex you, no just subscribe to my channel because there's absolutely no vlog that I have my kids inside that I wouldn't be speaking at least to some degree, speak Igbo. I want my kids to speak Igbo. I want them to know and learn Igbo. The fact that I live in Port Harcourt, is, it makes it difficult because out here, out in the streets, people are not speaking Igbo regularly, even those that are Igbos because there are diverse people here, different people from different cultures living in Port Harcourt. So most people are either speaking Pidgin or English. So I put in 100 since I stay with them most of the time to speak Igbo to them. So if you have a problem with that, you're on the wrong channel, my dear. The last one that I will be answering this night before we wrap up this video is the one about, you know, um, putting some jachi in school. Do we regret our decision? Um, is there anything that we can do to <laughs> regret? Uh, nah, <laughs> if you have a boy like soap Chachi, that would be far from you. Um, did I just you people? I actually went for their first PTA meeting. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just remember to watch that Patreon video because I'm going to upload that next. That's why I'm actually going to break down a whole lot of things. I and my husband actually on the reasons why we chose the school and every other thing. I'm, I'm going to share everything that that was said in the PTA meeting. Things that I've see motherhood. Mother will not be your papa made to. Mother will not be anybody made for this life. Ah, 5 a.m. Sometimes 6. Okay, these days I've decided to be working on by 6, but then still, still, that my sleep, that my early morning sleep. My God. We're going to do this for. <laughs> I don't even want to start counting because, fam, we're just in square one. Square one. Anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that my camera is back now. My lens is functional. Um, everything is set. And I'm going to be releasing a series of vlogs that I should have posted five days ago but then because of this setback it didn't happen but yeah thank you guys so much for watching remember to give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't and hopefully i'm gonna see you guys in the next one for now bye